Hola. Hola. Lightspeed Spanish, podcast number 36 for Early Intermediate. And today we're talking about the connecting words. Mm. Well, they're more like the starting words connecting one sentence into another. Mm. Super interesante. Eh, Cintia, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Uh -huh. Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Sí? Sí, requete bien. Requete bien. Requete bien. ¿Estás bien con las luces? ¿No, no te molestan? No. no. No, hay días que me molesta la luz y otros días no. Sí. Hoy, bien. Bien. Depende. Perfecto, me alegro. ¿Y tú qué tal estás hoy? ¿Por qué me preguntas eso así? No, Con es que estaba pensando... De... Estaba pensando qué hay, qué te cuentas... Ah. Pero, ¿qué tal estás hoy? Yo, fenomenal. Hoy. Tengo, ¿sabes? La verdad, Cindia, y te estoy tocando la pierna. La verdad es que... Cuando hago podcast contigo, la experiencia me da mucha ilusión. Me da mucha ilusión. La experiencia. ¿Por qué? Sí. ¿Y por qué? Porque yo aprendo mucho de los podcasts también durante las conversaciones contigo. Por eso, a veces yo tengo esos momentos bombilla y, y durante un podcast. Y yo también aprendo ¿eh? cosas eh, del español para explicar. Digo, sí. Wow, oh, sí. En inglés, buen sistema. Sí. Es lo que dicen, ¿no? Si quieres aprender un idioma, deberías enseñarlo. Sí. Enseñarlo. Bueno. O enrollarte con alguien de ese país. Esta, esta unión, sí. Nos <risa> ha ayudado. <risa> ¡Oh, eh! <risa> Os lo recomiendo. Es verdad. Sí. Vale, ok. Y muy interesante también culturalmente. Oh, sí. Sí, la verdad, la sí. verdad. Ahora, ya que estoy en España, eh, vamos a hablar de ya que, eh, 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 empiezo a ver cosas que, que, cosas que no he visto antes. Cosas muy interesantes sobre las, las diferencias de la cultura, la forma de, de, de usar el español. Muy interesante. ¿Qué tiene la gente? Muy bien, ¿Mm? muy bien Gordon. Ok, Cintia, es un coche. Sebastián. Sebastián. <risa> Sinastian. Um, okay, what we're looking at today are the words that, when people are talking in Spanish, what I what I notice is that the need little crutches, no little crutches, things that help the flow like of the link. language, links. From one to another. Yeah, just uh, and often when when people are talking, what some of my students will say when somebody's saying something to me, I don't know what to reply. Sometimes there's nothing to say, yeah. but you want to say something, you know, just like a bit of, to give people encouragement yes. to continue, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, let's talk about those kind of things. So we... I'm thinking in English, but things you would say, like these things are... Oh, that's just answering nice. things that don't yeah. really mean anything, it's like a gap filler. Yeah, um, well, when somebody's talking to you... Honestly, you when say, you go, yeah, honestly, or something like yeah. that, and this doesn't mean anything, but... Yeah, or, oh, oh, um, that's nice, really, goodness. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those kind of words, um, and also, well, let's tell you what. Let's start with the family of the, the linking one sentence with another with this. The um, I'm trying to think of the word. I can't think of it. But things like so anyway, or that's why. Yeah. So we've got things like um, por lo que. Por lo que no, but. Oh no, por lo que is not in the group of so anyway. No, but it it kind of links one sentence to another, doesn't it? Yes. Like por lo que, por lo tanto. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So how would you use that? Well, first of all, what does it, what does it mean, por lo que, por lo tanto? Uh, oh, how would I say that in English? Um, Give us a sentence with that and then, and then we'll translate. Por lo que sounds a bit posh to me. Yeah. Like to say in conversation, like family conversation. But if I say, um, no me gusta comer carne, por lo que no la voy a comer. Thus, so it's like, thus, therefore. Thus, therefore um, o por lo tanto, no la, voy, no la voy a comer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And could yes, you replace like por lo que with así que? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. So thus, yeah. Therefore, uh, would you use por consiguiente? Yes, you could use por consiguiente. Does por it sound consiguiente. a bit very exactly very right. writing style? Okay. Por mm -hmm. consiguiente and therefore, well, it's like therefore, but the, it's like. And those. so, following on from that, yes. Yeah, yeah, but it's more like for for writing. Okay, so in conversation, what's the most standard thing with with something like that? That little like the As, therefore. Uh, así que. Así que. What's the difference between saying así que and así? Así, so, as in this way. Mm -hmm. I like it so. Me gusta así. I like it this way. And so. the other one is so... And then something starts. Mm -hmm. So you're here for a week. Mm -hmm. So... Así que estás aquí una semana. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so when you hear people use así, when they're joining it's sentences, this they're saying, so like that, I am going to, yeah? Uh, así is so, or this way, or that way. Así que is so, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, now, I know that I use entonces a lot for saying okay. so. Mm -hmm. Probably too much. Probably. <laughs> How dare she? Okay, <laughs> but it's true. Um, so you can use entonces as well, no? Entonces, sí. Um, por lo tanto, por lo que, así que, por lo cual, por lo cual. Mm -hmm. But that that that's not really like gap fillers. No, okay. but it's kind of linking, it's linking the, 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 this sentence with this one. I, yes. I, I'm doing this, therefore, thus. Okay, sorry, I, I thought we were going to do gap fillers, like when no. people have a chat and then they say these words that don't mean anything. Sure. Yes, we'll talk about that, but okay. also uh, what I'm interested in is when people are, are justifying the previous sentence. Ah, okay. It's like a justification, por lo que, por lo tanto, ah. así que. Entonces... Uh, por consiguiente, uh, mm. yeah. So all of those, when you hear them, all they're doing is they're just giving you, and because of that, this. That's I don't really think what you're gonna saying. hear them that much. You you probably read them, but conversation, unless it's a, like a very formal thing. I hear them. All por consiguiente. The time. No, por consiguiente no, but, um, but por lo tanto. Por lo tanto, oh, por lo tanto, ah, yes, por, por tubo, lo tanto eh? is por not as. Por yeah, lo tanto. Yeah, but it's just so that you're accustomed to, when you hear them, you're not going to be thrown by thinking, what on earth is this in? They're just giving you a therefore thus. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Now, Phil is. Okay, so we've got the bueno. Bueno, vale. It's like, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yeah, it's like yeah, almost well. like an agreement, yeah, well. Or when you have to think, bueno, um, well, mm, and then you think like a little, yeah. I'll, say you, I'll say something to you and then yeah. pause yeah. for thought. Yeah, so people, people, will, um, people will draw out the bueno. 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 Not that much. Oh my God. Don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to what Gon says about the way we talk in Spanish. Do not, because you'll get so confused. We don't do that. It's not bueno. I said it's just ridiculous. I've heard it's people ridiculous. I have heard people holding on to one vowel for about thirty seconds just one so man, nobody else can get into the conversation. One man who don't know had a bad day said bueno and it lasted one second more than the usual and then Gordon said everybody said bueno no, at, at, at any point he dicho todo el mundo. No. Okay. I have to deal with this on a okay. daily basis. <laughs> okay. okay, so we've got. You bueno. tell me what Spanish people say. Okay. Yeah, because Cynthia doesn't hear because she's Spanish. And what happens is you don't hear what's being said because it's, it becomes normal. Yes. You okay. become accustomed to it. Whereas I hear because it's new for me. Okay, Cynthia, what else? So we've got bueno. We've got, for example, I put the ya te digo. Ah, ya okay. te digo. How would you I'm say that? I'm telling you. Yeah, but it doesn't really mean I'm telling you. No, but it's like... If we say, hace calor, 
and I say, ya te digo. Yeah. It's like, like um, oh. ya te digo is like, um, you're not kidding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You're not kidding. You're dead right. Something well, like that. Well, we use that. that a lot, the ya te digo in ya Spain. Ya te digo. Oh, ya ves. Ya ves. Mm. Ya ves. Well, it's like, like, you see, but... You see, that's right. No? Yeah. It's like, it's just encouraging the person or letting them know that you're, you're okay with what they've just said. You're in agreement with what they've just said. Hombre, for example. Uh, if I don't know, want to say something and I say, hombre. If he says, um, I need, necesito 300 euros. And I could say, hombre, 300 euros, no. 200. How would you say that, that hombre? It's like, um, come on. Yeah, it could be, yeah. come on. If I, come on, not that much. You could, yeah, it could, I could say hombre in that context to, like, refute what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, hombre, no. But you know, you know in not, English, in certain parts, they would use the word man the same, and exactly the same. You know, in, uh, for example, okay. in the Northeast, people would say man. Man, you don't need that much man. We probably put the man at the end. You don't need that much man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's it has a similar feel. Yeah. But hombre could be used in any other context. But mm -hmm. that's one. For example, like to say no, or yes. So oh, the and if you want to say yes as well, you want to agree with somebody. Yeah, like oh, saying yes, hombre. I do. Yeah. There's uh -huh. a different tone to it though, isn't it? Yeah, it's like hombre. That means of course. Quieres comer tarta, hombre. Do you want to eat some cake? Of course. Mm -hmm. Hombre. And then we put the emphasis on the E for some reason. Hombre. And that means, of course, I'm, I want to have cake. But if I say hombre, that means, hey, not really, or... How about object. that for s subtleness, eh? Subtleness, yeah. That's true. Mm. Wow. The little word. <laughs> little word. So they're, so they're the little joiners, little filler words, little words that are just for encouraging somebody else to speak to you, ya ves, ya te digo, ya ves, ya ves. not See? keys, not ya ves, <laughs> different thing, yeah, okay, okay, so there you are, and the rest of the information will be in the help sheets Perfect. with lots of sentences for you to practice, to get used to putting that into conversation, bueno, entonces, bueno, bueno, entonces, nos vamos, y nos vemos, hasta luego chicos, adiós, adiós.